Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Um, if I look a little red this time around, it's because I just got done working out a little bit ago. And what better way to reward yourself for working out than having a beer? And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is by Hangar 24 out of Redlands, California. It's their double IPA called Double IPA. Very inventive. It's 9% alcohol by volume. So I'm going to give this sucker a try. Oh, I should show you. Kind of boring. I mean, unless you like planes and stuff. I don't really care, but whatever. Ooh, I could smell it immediately as soon as I took that cap off. Very citrusy. A lot of, um, it sounds like there's citra hops in that, potentially. But it smells good. Uh, lots of grapefruit, citrusy, nice little bit of caramelly undertones. Very orange, big bubbles at the bottom, nice big bubbles at the top for a decent head to it. Oh yeah, super rich, super juicy smell. Ooh, that's how I like my double IPAs to smell. Tons and tons of grapefruit. There is a little bit of a bitterness on the nose, but it's not a ton of bitterness. It's just kind of like mainly grapefruit fruit up front, and then a little bit of that kind of peel bitterness smell toward the end. A little bit of a caramelly backbone going on in there. That slightest amount of, of pine notes in there as well. Very, very, very slight on the end. Mm. Pretty thick on the mouthfeel. I get a lot of that grapefruit. And it's more of grapefruit peel when I'm tasting it right now than the actual grapefruit fruit, although that kind of creeps up toward the end. Uh, a little bit of that pininess I was saying I was getting in, on the nose. Um, hmm. I'm tasting the 9% for sure. Um, the 9% is really kind of starting to build up. It's getting a little bit astringent there. Um, this is pretty solid, extremely drying. The bitterness and the alcohol level coming together, making it very, very, very drying on the end. Um, It's definitely one you need to get a little bit used to. Um, not bad, but not amazing. The nose smelled amazing, um, but then the taste. I really like the, the alcohol level and the bitterness to be brought down just a tad bit, and you really let those grapefruity, citrusy notes shine a lot more. Um, as I'm talking, I'm like breathing alcohol, basically. It's like the, the ether just like flowing off my, off my mouth. So let me see if there's anything interesting on this. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, the, it lists the hops, which is something I typically enjoy. Um, Centennial, Citra, Columbus, and Simcoe. All beautifully balanced by five malts and generous, generous additions of local orange blossom honey. Oh, okay, so orange blossom honey also involved in this brewing process. Um, am I really tasting the honey in there? I don't really smell the honey. Yeah, if I'm looking for it, I guess I'm kind of tasting a little bit of the honey aspect, which I feel like that honey is probably putting a dampening on those citrusy hop notes. Um, so honestly, I might like it more without the honey aspects to it. So anyway, not a bad beer. Uh, I'll certainly drink the rest of this. Actually, I'm going to share it with Rebecca. Which, you know, at nine percent, it's a weekday. You know, I'm not going to go too crazy. But anyway, thanks for checking this out. Uh, stick around for the next episode. Just click on it. Check out some of the back episodes. We got plenty of them. And uh, if you like it, go ahead and send me an email. Give us some feedback. Brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. And you can make some suggestions on what we should be trying. Anyway, thanks a lot. And go have yourself an awesome beer.